Hi, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking over a time lapse of a drawing I did last year because the commitment I have to this channel only said I had to make a video every week and the content of that doesn't necessarily have to be new. Loopholes, don't we just love them? Anyway, quickly about the drawing. It's done in Procreate. It's my OC Tsukino from Bokura no Monogatari and I had a photo reference for the pose. I really like how it turned out and I had a lot of fun drawing it too. It was a drawing I did just because I felt like it and I think that's important. Topic or little theme for today, if you will, is um, about how I have not finished a single sketchbook since the last sketchbook tour I posted on here and how I only recently realized why that is. I've always been keeping sketchbooks since I was like 15. The two I have now, I've sort of abandoned and I think that's a good thing because having a sketchbook was my main way of expressing my creativity before. Uh, it was where I worked on character designs, practiced anatomy, fangirled about anime and K-pop and all of that stuff. It was like a diary in a way, because I can clearly see page to page what I was into or how I was feeling based on what I had drawn. So, see now I went off script and now I don't know how to get back on script again. Jesus Christ, just read what you've written. It's fine. So the sketchbooks that I've abandoned, when I look in them, the drawings are very sparse. Like, it's very, like, it's weeks or even months between the drawings. And when I look at them, I can't really see why I did those drawings. Like, I can't really feel what mood I was in or anything like that. And the reason why, <laughs> it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks this weekend when I sat down and just doodled for three hours. Way before, like, when I started my YouTube channel, my sketchbooks were, like, my sketchbooks. I always carried one around. I would doodle on the bus and at cafes and on the breaks at work. I, it was mine. For me, it was always with me. And I maybe shared like one in 10 drawings on Instagram and YouTube really only saw the sketchbook once it was completed, unless I was making a video that had me drawing in a sketchbook. So it was always really just like for me. So I was thinking about those two sketchbooks I have now that I've abandoned and th that I, I really just like, I wanna finish a sketchbook. That was like the thing I thought every time I had that in my hand. And looking at those drawings, thinking about those drawings, almost every single one of those drawings I did because I was trying to record a video for YouTube or I was drawing specifically to have something to post to Instagram. Like that was the purpose of those drawings, not expressing myself or sitting down to doodle just because I had an idea. No, I, I had been sitting down with the thought, oh God, I need to make content. I need something to post on Instagram. I need footage for a video. I have to make something presentable. So yesterday when I, was, when I sat down to draw, my only goal was to fill out a couple of pages. Uh, it wasn't about making it presentable or having something to share on social media. I just wanted to draw. And I ended up doing one page and a tiny little doodle for the second one. And that took me three hours because I am ridiculously way out of practice, but that's besides the point. It was way under the goal I had set for myself. Like I was hoping to do like five or six pages, but the process of doing that first page and that little doodle, oh my God, I had so much fun. It was so nice to just sit. I scrolled for references. I was looking at my old art because I can't remember what my characters look like, figuring out what pens and pencils I used to use because I can't remember what I liked to draw with before. It took time, but I didn't have to share it. It was just for me. And now <laughs> while writing the script, I remember I have a video. I did a video on how to fill a sketchbook and I clearly remember how I harped on the fact that that sketchbook should be for you and only you. Art and creative expression can be a very personal thing. For me, having this idea of needing to share everything, having this looming over me made me not want to draw at all. Having to start every drawing session with where is my camera, is the lighting good enough, are the batteries charged, have I emptied the memory cards, it was exhausting. I forgot to draw just for me. And I've been looking at my old videos just to see what I did. And most of those stuff are like one-off drawings, like one-off illustrations. I never really shared my sketchbook stuff before. And I still don't quite know how I got into the headspace where I felt I had to do that. And I'm still like trying to figure that part out. I think this is also why I never really shared my crochet stuff 
on YouTube, like after I stopped sort of drawing or I drew less and less and I crocheted more and more. And I think I never shared the crochet stuff because it felt freeing to think, oh, well, my audience, audience is probably not into this, so I don't have to share it. It was my new thing I did just for me. And I guess as a conclusion to this little ramble on creative death for the sake of content production, and make sure you always make time to do just things for yourself. Like you don't have to put your entire being on the internet. I know we're all there all the time, but it is so important to do things just for yourself too. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching or listening, whichever you did, thank you. Um, if this is your first video of mine, do subscribe. I try to post a new video every week. Sundays seem to be the day I've chosen to do so right now. What was that wording? I do not know. Thank you all so much for being here. Remember to doodle just for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.